I'm at the machine gun shoot. This is one of Tom Cole's guns. This is a show show. It's a French World War I machine gun. Not sure if we'll be shooting it, but I've just never seen one up close. So, I wanted to get a video of this. We got more if you want it. Handing out ice cream. Yeah, never seen one of these up close. Very cool looking. Little information on this gun. It's uh, known originally as FM Shoshaw by the French, but nicknamed Shosho by the American troops. Can also be known as the CSRG 1915 or the Gladiator. Gladiator is actually one of the companies that produced it, but it uh, took on that name as well. It was produced from 1915 to 1922 and chambered in 8mm Lebel, which is the original round, 30 out 6, 8mm Mauser, and 7mm Mauser. Its rate of fire was about 240 rounds per minute, 20 round magazine. Saw service in World War I, the Polish Soviet War, Winter War, and Continuation War, which were both uh, wars with, uh, between the Soviet Union and Finland. Countries that used this gun was Belgium, Bulgaria, Finland, France, Greece, Italy, Romania, Russia, Serbia, uh, Poland Blue Army, and the U.S. The show show was famous for its unreliability. Um, some of this was undeserved, but a lot of it was deserved. When it ran an 8mm label, it was reliable enough um, when the gun was clean, but the problem was the magazines had an open side to them as you'll see in the video and it allowed dirt and grit to get in there and cause jams and all kinds of problems, especially when you're in a wet muddy trench. So that was a major problem. Late in the war they came up with enclosed magazines, but they didn't get out till very late in the war. Uh, it also had problems with overheating caused by the gun, causing the gun to seize up after about 20 magazines, uh, which in an uh, extended battle is nothing. It would usually cause the gun to seize up for about 10 minutes before it cooled down enough to fire again. It also had problems uh, with the rounds that it was later uh, converted to fire, or produced to fire in, such as 30 out 6 and uh, the Mauser rounds, so they were a lot more powerful than the 8mm Lebel and caused uh, many problems. Also, the guns produced for America were often um, very shoddy manufacturing, so that caused a lot of problems as well. The ones that were tested had something like a 40% rejection rate. So it was not, um, not a gun you'd really want to be issued, but it was our main... Uh, light machine gun in World War I. We had the BAR, but it was not issued till very, very late in the war. Reason being, um, our generals did not want it to be issued until victory was certain because they did not want Germany uh, copying the gun. So, here's a little more video uh, from the machine gun shoot of the show show. You leaving pistols here too? Well, no, except the ones I take with me. Well, yeah. I'm trying to get to it didn't really deserve the bad name. You're saying that it was designed off of the black powder cartridge and that's uh, where the overpressuring and uh, all the problems came from. Correct. Magazine. And that's actually an 8mm. 8mm Mauser? Correct. Well, that's neat. Which was even worse pressures than anything else. So, 
You're saying this was the granddaddy of all the uh, squad. Uh, granddaddy of all the squad automatics. Based on a black powder rifle cartridge. Then they tried to adopt it to 30 out sixes and 8 mil Mausers and smokeless powder over pressure the system. Which makes it a little bit unsafe from the day it was new. Mm -hmm. Is this the uh, safety or is that uh, select fire? No, these are full auto only. That's just safety. I know nothing about that. Okay, well, some of these men need to tear it down. That's your takedown. take down. Oh. Safe at any speed. <laughs> What's it do? Does it double back or what? Totally unreliable. Beats itself to death because of the overpressure of the ammunition. Really? Can you reload it? Well, I'm sure you can. Yeah, you download it. <laughs> 